What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregolis TV. This video is all about this, the Lou Blue Lou cordless vacuum. It's under a hundred bucks, up to 40 minutes of run time, and it sucks. And I mean that in a good way. Like sucks up the dirt and the and the dust and all that other stuff. So without further ado, let's do an unboxing. I'll tell you what I think and let's get to it. All right, let's go through everything that's in the box here. So we have our manual, which hopefully we won't need. This looks like the motor slash battery with the on off button at the top. Here you go with the handle and where you'd kind of connect. This is like the main frame of everything right here. Here's the bottom part uh, that you would, you know, kind of roll on your floor to pick everything up. Here's another piece that would go towards the bottom, depending upon how you set up the vacuum. Another one. This is one of the connector pieces that would connect it while you're standing up and vacuuming, like pushing on it. Uh, this piece right here, this is really nice. It's not plastic, it's made of uh, metal. Charging brick. This should be a uh, HEPA filter. It also comes with a, a little stand that you can attach to your wall and stand up your vacuum. So using the vacuum so far, it's pretty small. One of the good things about it being so small is how portable it is, uh, meaning that, you know, and, and versatile, like when, you, when you're weaving and stuff, it's, it's very, it just moves great and it's not heavy, so it's easy to move around, have it be when you're pushing it or just carrying it. So it's very portable that way. And then also just cleaning cars and stuff, you can uh, put some of those other attachments, which I'll show you in a minute, and use it there as well. So it's really nice in that regard. Another thing I really like about it is I don't have to press this button to turn it on. I can just hit the trigger here. You see it turns on, but if I want to change the speed of it, like maybe I want more suction, I just have to press this once and that's the highest suction. If I press it again, it goes back to the lower type suction. And when you use it on the floor, I would say you'd be perfectly fine using it on the lower suction and you'll end up getting better battery life, especially on hard surfaces um, like hardwood flooring or laminate flooring, things like that. But when you're using it on a rug, you can still get away with placing this on the lower setting, but you'd probably wanna ultimately go to the higher setting which is also a little bit louder, but it's not, this isn't so loud that it's like annoying. Um, and it works great uh, for what, what I've been using it for. And the other thing you'll see is the light at the front there. That light <clears throat> can help you kind of see what you're missing or, you know, if there's little dust particles or just dirt overall. So it's a nice little feature to have. You can also shut the vacuum off by pressing that trigger. So I turn it on and off, and then again, this would change uh, the speeds. So I just vacuumed for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And you can see it did pick up a good amount of uh, dirt and dust. Now, like I mentioned before, this vacuum is super light, which is awesome. So you can really place it wherever you want. You're not gonna get that tired uh, when you vacuum. Now, it's definitely not the most suction powerful vacuum I've ever used that would probably go to our Dyson that we have which is like a I think a five or six hundred dollar dollar vacuum but this is literally under a hundred bucks and it does the job really really well your carpets your flooring whatever you're doing is going to work pretty darn good and you know obviously since it's cordless charge it up if you need more battery life and get the job done one thing to mention is if you do want to make this taller, you can. So you just go, you connect everything that you want, and then you have this button right here, and you can see 
that's the shortest way. And then if you can kind of extend it the way you want, it goes all the way like that. And at that range, um, I'm 5'10 and I'm very, very comfortable holding the vacuum up at that point. I don't really have to bend over at all. Very, very good. Also, if you wanna take any of these pieces off, so for instance, if I wanna take this piece off, I'm just going to press this button and pull off and connect the next compartment. So maybe I'm gonna clean the car. I can just put this piece on, it snaps right on, and I will bring this out to the car to show you how that works. When you're ready to empty the dust pan, all you're gonna do is press this button right here and you will be able to empty that. Also up here we have the HEPA filter, so you would press this button and this will open up. Take this little piece out right here and you can come out here and just clean it if need be. When you wanna check the battery, all you do is turn it on and you can see how many bars you have. You'll have up to four. Currently you have about 50% battery left. So potentially you'll get up to 40 minutes of runtime on this. Obviously it's gonna run best with that 40 minutes of runtime. If you're using this on like a hard floor and at the lowest setting, uh, if you're running that the, the, the highest setting and using it on carpeting, it's gonna be reduced by a lot. Um, I'm looking at probably 24, 25-ish to 30 minutes of runtime with this, which is usually plenty enough if you need to use it. Um, you can also charge it up pretty quick with the included charger. And uh, for under 100 bucks, a very versatile cordless vacuum that you can use in your car, in your house, on rugs, on carpeting, and it does a good job, I think at that point it's a pretty good buy. So I will link it down below if you wanna pick it up. Here it is. Cool color too. I like this nice blue color. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.